Now, Wednesdays here on the program, we like to put the spotlight on the farm women's group, Common Ground. Common Ground is a group of farm women who want to be a resource for consumers who want to know more about how their food is grown. Joining us now is Common Ground volunteer, Joan Ruskamp. Joan, how are you? Good, good. Good morning. Yes. How's everything in Northeast Nebraska? It's dry. A lot of harvesting going on right now. Hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready for fall. Yeah. The yes. fall temperatures. <laughs> yes, it's been warm, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're talking about mentors today, mm -hmm. and these are people who make an impact, not just in agriculture, but beyond that. Right, right. And, you know, we often share stories on our farms and what's going on, but I think the, the hidden people on our farms are those that m have mentored us. And so I was just going to take a look at a few people that have mentored me in my life. Um, it started with my dad. And he gave me my love for agriculture. He loved farming, grew up on a farm. I did not grow up on a farm, mm -hmm. but he just passed that on to me. Um, when I think of a mentor, I kind of think of a compass and people who give you direction. Maybe it's direct or indirect. Um, and so I had a teacher in high school that directed me towards my college at, at Curtis, the University of Nebraska College of Technical mm -hmm. Agriculture. And um, so that's where I got my associate's degree in vet medicine. I would have never heard of it because <laughs> it was way off the radar for me. But this teacher had advised me and directed me that way. Um, and so teachers, so parents, teachers, you know, those are pretty easy to see how they influence us. But I met a woman named Dr. Temple Grandin, and she's influenced our lives tremendously in the cattle business, in the low stress cattle handling. We use her facilities. Um, I've been to several meetings with her. And she, she is a mentor for me, even though I don't get to talk to her directly all the time. Um, but just the way she handles herself and, and she believes in something, she's passionate about it. And she gives me direction indirectly, right? Mm -hmm. um, friends, friends are great, great mentors. I, when I first uh, was appointed to the Beef Checkoff Board, I really didn't know a whole lot. I didn't know if I wanted to be a leadership person and do any of that. But I had someone who saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. And that too, I think, is often um, what happens to Ann Anderson from Texas caught me in the hallway and she said, Joan, have you ever thought of running for a leadership position? And I, I would, uh, first of all, I was like, wow, Ann Anderson's talking <laughs> to me. <laughs> you know, that, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like you have it and other people mm -hmm. see it. And so those kind of mentors that show us what we have even when we don't know it. But then they're like that compass that give us direction and when we get off track, they pull us back in. And so throughout my life, I've just had, and I'm sure you could name numerous mm -hmm. people as well, um, just even in common ground, we mentor one another. The Corn Growers has a mentorship program as well. Mentoring not only in agriculture and things we do in our farms, but how we get involved in leadership positions and things having to do with our checkoff, our policy and all of those. And just having people who've been there and walked it to give you ideas, to give you suggestions. And then the recipe later that I'll share, I have another mentor in the state of Nebraska, I'll talk a little bit about then, that has been a, an incredible friend and mentor. Mm -hmm. Very good, wow, yeah. So thank you very much for being here, Joan. That is something you don't think about all the time, but it's good to look at those people in your background uh, who mm -hmm. pay, played a role in, in your life. Right, so that's right. really cool. Yeah. yeah, we don't get here just on our own. We really do have a whole lot of people behind the scenes that, that shape us and mold us and, and point us in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, we're looking forward to that recipe, John. Thank you. All right. Okay. See you in a few minutes.